Hey guys, Shane here, Oz Flight Simmer. Welcome to another video. This is the third and final video out of the series on X Camera for X Plane. In today's video, we are going to check out camera views for within airports and also setting up free cameras. So let's jump straight into it. The first thing we want to do to set up airport cameras is check the box. And then we want to go over and generate. And here you can see uh, runway starting positions and signs and you can set up um, offsets for them. I don't normally touch any of that so I'm just going to click to generate. And it is generated three uh, categories which is starting locations, signs and runway. So I just quickly scroll through. So these are pre uh, programmed in so they're the starting positions and generally you find you know you might find two or three good positions but most of them aren't that great and that's where the three camera um, will come into play so this one's basically pretty much only good for when you're uh, pulling up at the terminal signs and the last one is runways but first and foremost we're going to start off with runways and we're going to show you how to do some sort of flyby uh, positioning and cinematics uh, with the runways so here we're starting off at runway 13 the first thing that we need to do is go and put smooth uh, transition onto both ends of the runway 13 and 31 and the next thing that we can do is quite simple is we'll go and add some uh, frames just like we've done with a lot of the previous um, camera views that were set up. And what I might do is I might put this one up a little bit higher and I tend to do that on one end just so I can see um, if an aircraft, you know, is, is taking off, you can get a different aspect for it. So, so I found my position, and we'll just put our frames in. And as you can see, that has the camera facing the aircraft down the runway, and gives you a nice cinematic of the runway and also the uh, airport. So, really good to use as well when your aircraft is taking off. You can catch it in replay mode and get some epic shots as well. So now we'll move a little bit closer and go and work with some location shots too. So with the location shots, it's gonna run along the same theme as pretty much all the other options. So we'll just go and hit smooth, um, camera transition on all the different cameras and we'll add some frames in that to give you some cinematic shots and you can use this so when you start up your engines and you're taxiing around the airport you can get some good overhead cinematic shots but like I mentioned before not all of them uh, are great camera angles so my favorite is to set up your own using the free camera so these are the sorts of shots you can speed up your frames and slow your frames down so if you're a little bit lazy or don't have the time, this is um, a good option to set up cinematic uh, cameras uh, for around the airport and also the aircraft taxiing around. Um, but within saying that, we'll set up my favorite way of doing things, which is free camera. So to start off free camera, camera one to category, category five. as you can see there, I'm gonna set up a new category called airport cinematics. I'm going to enable smooth transitions off for now. Take the frames off because it's grabbed that from the last camera view. And we're going to use the up and down arrow and the keys are allocated to come up with some camera view. So I've got the Carinado C90 there in front of us. Um, and we're going to set up one view here. We'll hit save. We'll add, add another one. Two to category and we're going to set up a cinematic, cinematic sequence of me taxiing around um, this GA area here. So we'll put this one up a little bit higher, save that one, and add we'll add one more in there cinematic. as watching me pull out of the GA area. Find a good camera, we might do this one a little bit lower. There we go, we'll add that one in there. And we'll enable smooth transitions on them all, so we'll flick between them. And what's going to happen there in the replay mode is that the camera is going to follow um, the C90. So we'll take a look at that. And we'll just start our replay sequence here. 
And as you can see, the C90 is just going to travel through some sort of business jet there, but we won't worry about that. And as you can see, the camera is following uh, the aircraft, and I'll make a turn here, and you get a really sort of close cinematic view. And this is only basic, you can, you know, set them higher, set them lower. And we'll just change the camera angle to the second shot. We can see the C90 coming towards the corner here. And this one I made a little bit higher. To get a bit of a view of the background as well. And we'll flip to the last shot. And you can basically get it to follow um, the path of what you want to do. And there we go. And that's how you set up free cameras. You can do them in the air. Um, you can do them on runways. You can do them all around this sort of area, the apron. So really easy to set up and you can make some gorgeous cinematics with the free camera. So that was the final camera view that I wanted to show you for X Camera for X Plane. And this concludes the three part video series for X Camera. Uh, this little montage here was all shot uh, using X Camera camera views. Um, it was made within a matter of minutes. So once you get used to it, it's easy to set up. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Oz Flight Simmer. If you like this sort of stuff, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next video. Have an awesome day. Cheers. Goodbye.